Facts East 2019. I'm sitting here with Tommy Refines from Team Meat. Yeah. And we're talking about... Thank you for pronouncing my name correctly. Like, <laughs> nobody does that. I just knew it. I, I, I'm just that smart. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, yeah, I appreciate it. I really do. <laughs> we're talking about some Super Meat Boy Forever. So tell, me more, tell, me, tell me a bit about the game. All right. So Super Meat Boy Forever is the sequel to Super Meat Boy. Um, we wanted to... Like, not do the same thing and, like, do a Meat Boy 2, do 300 more levels and just put new paint on it. Um, Want to do something different because it's kind of, it's boring to do the same thing over and over. Um, So, back in 2011, uh, everybody was asking for uh, a mobile version of Meat Boy. Well, they were asking for Super Meat Boy on their phones. And when they would say that, I would get pissed off because I'm like, have you not played the game? It's not going to work on a phone. (laughs) Probably not. Yeah, no. because of you, you have Twitch controls. Like You have to have a controller. You have to have buttons in order to play it. Um, and in 2011, I don't know what the impetus was, but I, I got struck with inspiration in a GDC hotel room. And I'm like, oh, maybe they just want to play Meat Boy on their phones. Not, not that Meat not Not the game we've already put out, but a new game. And I'm like, well, I could probably make a one-button Meat Boy. So I was in the hotel room, I had my laptop, and I like prototyped a one-button Meat Boy where when you jumped off the wall, you changed direction. I made a couple levels, and I'm like, hey, it's pretty good. Um, didn't get to work on it until 2014, uh, and we did a quick like three-month prototype. And the, the scope of that game was gonna be just a really small game that we put out, maybe spent six months on it total, and just have like a, like a palate cleanser game, and then get back to the bigger projects. Well, Shortly after we showed, we showed it at PAX West uh, in 2014. Shortly after that, uh, work just kind of stopped on it. Couldn't do anything on it. And then 2017, I was able to take back over, and we were able to like work on the game full time. So when 2017 came along, I was playing our original prototype, and I'm like, you know, this could be much bigger than like a six month game. This could be bigger than a game jam game, basically. So. I decided to just sort of like swing for the fences and like make make this two button ridiculously procedurally generated Meat Boy game as the sequel. And um, yeah, so it's 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 auto run, which I know there's a stigma associated with auto run, but uh, we don't do it the, the the traditional way of oh here's a jump, here's a jump, here's a saw, here's a saw. Thanks Mario. Yeah, yeah. Thanks Mario. <laughs> we actually create levels and then s- smash a bunch of them together to make a level. So everything that you play through is designed and tested by us. So it's not a formula that's making it. It's it's Kyle, our level designer, is making it. And we decorate it and all thanks, that Thanks, Kyle. Yeah, thank you, Kyle. <laughs> um, yeah, and one of the kind of unintended consequences of doing this is we've actually made a Meat Boy game in every sense of the word because you played it. It's still challenging. It still feels like Meat Boy. It does. Um, but it's a Meat Boy game that if you can press two buttons, you can play it. So, you know, you want when, when you're making games, you want everybody, as many people as possible to be able to enjoy and play your game. And now we've lowered the barrier of entry of being able to play the game and actually be good at this difficult game by two buttons. Like, if you map them to whatever you want. You want to use your feet? You can use your feet. Like, you can do it. Um, so that's, that's kind of like a cool consequence of, of just having two buttons. It's like, this is a, a Meat Boy game in every sense of the word that anybody can play. So it's kind of cool. It is very fun. Very challenging. Yeah, because you can't have a Meat Boy game that's not challenging. So it's part of the pedigree. Like part of the pedigree, It's like Meat Boy game has to have Meat Boy in it. It has to be hard. It has to be rewarding. It has to have good controls. And... That's what we've aimed for with Forever, is, is, is that exact thing. And narrative-wise, uh, where does the game go? So this one starts with, um, it's, it's years later, and Meat Boy and Bandage Girl have a daughter named Nugget. And Dr. Fetus, being Dr. Fetus, has taken Nugget, so now you have to get Nugget back. And you can play as Meat Boy or Bandage Girl, and you can just, you, you save Nugget. Like, it's still the same concept, but we've, we've aged the characters a little bit. To, to, to make them more mature. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do they play differently? No, they, they play the same. Um, uh, just graphically, they're different. Like, uh, Bandage Girl is all kicks, so she's like a Chun-Li. Meat Boy is all punches, so he's like Balrog. You know. Okay, yeah. That's all right. Yeah. So I just had a silly thought in my head. I thought of Pac-Man and this Pac-Man. And yeah. Pac-Man 
Baby, well, Baby Pac-Man was in a cartoon. Pac-Man Jr. was an actual game. Yeah, yeah, Pac-Man Jr. was a game. So I guess at maybe five years from now, like Nugget? Maybe Nugget will be a game. <laughs> Nugget's going to be a first-person arena shooter. <laughs> Battle Royale. Yeah, Battle Royale. Battle Royale. A hundred nuggets drop onto an <laughs> island, and only one survives. If you drop into the sauce, you lose automatically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all thunk up, all done. So but how big is the team? Uh, I counted it up yesterday. It's 16. Okay. Um, I'm only programmer. I have uh, people doing uh, like certification on consoles, but I ported it to everything. It, the, it runs 60 frames a second, 1080p. Whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's all me. Uh, I have a team uh, taking care of all the certifications. Then I have a lead artist and a lead animator. And then a whole bunch of other animators that do, like, character animation. Our cutscenes, we have, like, well over 30 minutes of, like, oh, wow. professionally animated cutscenes. So like Metal like, Gear Solid, man. What are we talking about? Here? I'm a huge Metal Gear fan, <laughs> so... Yeah, maybe I want Kojima to pay attention to this one. Maybe. I'd be I mean, okay with that. You saw Big Slugger. Kind of yeah. looked a little bit like Metal Gear Rex, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know. A uh, uh, Similar, but legally distinct, you see. Oh, of course. Legally distinct. Yeah. You got to be careful. <laughs> yeah, you have to it's be. crazy out here. Oh, he'll sue you. These litigious streets. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, platforms, release window. Yeah, so we were supposed to be April. Uh, but we're going to miss April, so now we're just saying after April, because I don't want to say May and then miss May. No, you don't want to do that. So the, the next announcement we're going to make is going to be, oh, you can buy it, and then the exact date that it's going to yeah. come out and buy it. So we'll, really, we'll, we'll get to that later, but we're close. We're very, very close. So And uh, platforms, uh, it'll be PC and Switch definitely at launch. Uh, the goal is PC, Switch, Xbox, and PS4 all at launch. Um, but if we can't get to Xbox and PS4, they'll come within a month. So okay. it'll be functionally uh, simultaneous. Can you make a Vita version just for me? I have given consideration to doing a Kickstarter for a Vita version because I don't want to pay for it. It would succeed. <laughs> it would. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. It's it's a possibility. I also don't want to code it. Uh, but I could maybe get somebody, <laughs> somebody else, else to code it. Yeah. <laughs> somebody else code it. Somebody else pay for it. Yeah, maybe, we'll, maybe. Then we'll talk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming by.